Hi everyone, welcome back to Generate.net. Today we're going to be demonstrating the email responder, which is powered by AI. It's a Chrome extension, so that means in one click you'll have your emails answered. And it's actually more than just an email responder. You can do absolutely anything with this Chrome extension. Now, you could see a top 10 list of Chrome extensions, which will help you do many things, but this is a one for all Chrome extension. I know it sounds too good to be true, but bear with me here. Now, before we get started, a big disclaimer this is not my real office. This is my real office, but I've managed to achieve this using Adobe Firefly, which you can see in this image at the bottom left of the screen. If you use that, uh, app, you'll be able to do this. A video will be coming out to show how I achieved such a result, which you can subscribe to this channel to see how I did such uh, achieve such a result. It's coming out soon, that video. Anyway, back to the no-code extension builder. Let's go to this screen. So here it is. It's within our platform, generate.net, spelt like this. You can find it inside text tools. I'll just show you that right now inside text tools and then you click on this one right here. Once you're in here, you download the extension builder and then you'll get started. And you'll find and then once you're ready, you can go to your emails and start using it straight away. Now it's very very simple to use. All you need to do is highlight an email you want answered or text you want processed for for that reason. And then you click on the Chrome extension which is so powerful like I can't get over this I'm using this a lot because it's just so so smart it's genius to be honest with you uh, so then uh, okay, there you go it's actually already worked it's highlight it's taken the highlighted email and it's actually going to respond to it watch hands up there you go it just responded to the email now just to show you that this is legitimate if you look the email is dear customer support team and then at the bottom you'll see my name Daniel at the bottom see just to show that this was really responded to correctly. Whoops, <laughs> I must have deleted it. You can copy the um, response here. But let me let me just work back, well, let's backtrack, let's backtrack. I'm gonna show you how I achieved this. So let me just first of all delete this automation because this has automation options where it loads on click. Let me just delete that. And let me also delete this actual Chrome extension just to show you how I build Chrome extensions within my browser. So as you can see, I have quite a few Chrome extensions for many reasons why I might, there's many reasons why you're going to need Chrome extensions. You can see some of the reasons here, but you might need much more than this, much less than this, different Chrome extensions. You can actually build them within Chrome. So let me just delete this Chrome extension. So to delete it, you just go to edit your Chrome extension and click this button here, which is the bin button, just delete it. That's it. Now I'm going to create a new Chrome extension. Now this is a Chrome extension builder. It's not just an email responder, it's much more than that. I know you came to this video because you wanted to see how to answer emails using a Chrome extension, but this is just gonna blow you away because you've just landed on an application builder with no code and no technical knowledge. It's within your browser. Just watch how I do this step by step. You click on new Chrome extension, call it answer my emails, and then I'll put in brackets my name. And the reason why is because I wanna make sure that I have, uh, sorry for that glitch just there, <laughs> uh, my old office, and then basically answer my emails and then you put the prompt in here. Please answer my emails with empathy and make sure you sign Daniel and generate.net after every email. Okay, perfect. That's it. So that's now my autoresponder. I've just pre-prompted it. So it's ready to respond in this way. Now, remember, you can make as many of these new Chrome extensions and they'll appear in your list over here. And so if I create this now, you'll see I've just created it there. But I could create another one, call it uh, answer my emails, you know, something else. Uh, or the way to make a new one is you press the plus button here and then uh, you kind of uh, just start from scratch kind of thing. And then, uh, you, you know, you make as many of these as you need and each one is prompted differently. Now, once that's done, you select it over here and then you will instantly see the email pasted in this box. But before you do that, scroll to the bottom and click load on click of extension. So now it will load every time this specific page loads. So let's test it first, highlighting this 
and then the text in the email and then clicking on the Chrome extension. Let's see if it actually works or not. I'm expecting it to respond to the email and also sign it with my website, which, which is generate.net. Let's see. I'm scrolling to the bottom of this response. Here we are. It's done the job perfectly. And that's as, it's as simple as that. Then you can copy that by pressing this button, respond, click on reply, paste it here, obviously check for any necessary changes. And then once you're ready, you just send the email and you're finished if it's done the job properly. Now, the idea here is that you want it to respond to every email. So if you need that, what you do is you click on the Chrome extension and then um, if nothing's highlighted, it will expect you to type in the email here. And then what you do is you need to edit this text here. Now, you don't want it to work only on this specific email. You want it to work on any email which is in your inbox. So you just need to delete this uh, text over here, just the last part. Just leave kind of the home page of Google Mail. Once you save that, it will work on every other email as well. So let's test it with another email. This is a different link, even though it looks the same. And then you highlight it and click on the Chrome extension again and you guessed it it's going to respond also on this page even though this is a different page the one that you clicked to make it automated it's as simple as that and let's check that it's done the job properly yes it's signed correctly fantastic now I just want to show you one more thing let's say you wanted it to summarize this email so you just flick to a different app and just for example summarizer then click summarizer now and then here we are, a summary of the email. Let's say you wanted to translate it to Spanish. So you click on translate to Spanish. And remember, I created these little micro apps, which are doing basically whatever I need them to do. And it's just working absolutely perfectly. If you need to copy the result, click here. If you ever need to edit your prompt, you click here. It's very simple. There may be a few minutes of learning, but once you know how to use this, I'm telling you, your workflow is going to go quick. So my name is Daniel from Generate.net. I create AI tools. I've created fantastic AI tools that I use myself. I'm a business owner, and so I needed a all-in-one tool for Chrome extensions, answering emails. And I also created a platform for that, which is absolutely amazing. It's called Replier, spelled R-E-P-L-Y-R-R.com, like this. And it's also absolutely amazing. It you, you embed it into your website. Check that out as well. Like, subscribe to this channel to never miss any new tools that we release because you never know what you might need. Thank you for watching and like this video just to give us a thumbs up. Bye for now.